What's going on guys? My name is The Wolf Prayers and welcome back to another episode of Insane Besiege Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations that I have found on the Steam Workshop and to start off with, this creation's name is called the 25 Rocket Artillery. Alright, we'll go ahead and start off by getting a nice little look all around this guy. Uh, it does kind of seem like it rotated a little bit on its own, but you know, don't worry about that, that's fine. And uh, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of rockets strapped up onto the top and on the sides as well right here, and uh, that's pretty cool. Let's just go ahead and drive around this here a little bit. Here we go, just like this. And as you guys see, the back tires actually steer too, so that helps us steer a little bit. That's pretty neat. Okay, and for the rockets on the top here, you can rotate them with the numpad 4 and 6. So let's go ahead and just turn these a little bit. There we go, just like that. And uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and shoot one at this little village here and see how that does. There we go. And uh, okay, that actually just kind of went all the way through the houses. And uh, they're actually fireworks too. Okay, great. And you can also tilt them up and down. So, you know, you can tilt them way up like that and shoot those off as well. And, uh, you know, they'll go a lot higher and all that great stuff. And of course, they are probably still fireworks. Beautiful. Okay, I just now realized that something actually broke down here. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen or like, I, I don't know. Uh, you know what happened there but yeah something definitely broke off this is not in invincibility mode uh so yeah i'm just kind of going with it and uh yeah i guess we'll just leave that there okay let's go ahead and shoot one at the little night village as well because you know they always deserve to get wrecked so here we go just like that and uh, okay one went all the way up there that's fine don't worry about that and one actually went underneath me there and uh, okay that that's just freaking out okay that's cool okay and it looks like this is actually meant to break off so that the rockets don't hit it when it goes by and uh, yeah that would kind of make sense because there are these little grabbers here and uh, i'm not sure if those would actually grab the rockets but uh yeah okay yep i'm kind of stuck i was gonna make my way over here and try to take out one of the statues with the rockets and uh yeah we kind of got stuck on this little hill here i don't know if i'll be able to get away here we go come on just get away from me dudes that's not very nice view come on just leave me alone okay so i went ahead and reset it here and uh yeah i have to actually shoot off these front rockets to be able to shoot the back ones i think uh let's just go ahead and shoot off the back ones and see what happens okay uh those actually those they're fine okay whoa okay that rocket was really close to my face okay that was that, that was scary okay i'm still gonna get nice and close just so we have a chance of actually hitting this here uh let's go ahead and just po point these right up there uh let's go ahead and shoot off the, the first ones first just because you know here we go and we'll just go ahead and shoot those off just like that and uh, we're kind of going forward a little bit there okay we're fine oh yes we actually hit it i we didn't actually hit it directly it kind of like exploded right below it and uh made it shatter but you know that still counts beautiful man that almost just made my day right there let's go ahead and see if we can actually take out this other one over here with this last rockets i'm not sure if we'll be able to uh, but i think these ones are supposed to go the farthest and uh yeah let's go ahead and test this out though right, i still want to make sure i'm nice and close let's go ahead and aim these up as much as they can okay that should be all right let's go ahead and just point those over just a little bit just like that and uh, okay let's go ahead and shoot those off there we go and uh, hopefully it can actually oh that was not high enough okay that oh oh come on are you for real that was so close Okay, but yeah, they just kind of fly around like this. Let's try to go back over to the machine here. And uh, there we go. And at least I hit one, so I'm not a total failure. So yeah, nice. Okay, and there are also some different camera modes for this thing. So let's go and check those out. It is F2 and F3. So here we go. There's a little bit of F2. And I guess that's just kind of behind the creation there. And uh, F3 is for like a rocket view. So I guess you can, uh, you know, point those up and shoot those off. And you can actually see where they'll go. So that's pretty neat. Okay, and I think I just got hit by a rocket, and uh, let's go ahead and go out of here. Okay, yep, I definitely got hit by something. Okay. Okay, and I'm seeing there's actually a way to transform this thing as well. Okay, we have to test that out, of course. Okay, it is numpad 1, and then numpad 3 to turn into a tower. So let's go ahead and do this here. This is a little bit of numpad 1. We're just standing up, and uh, I guess the wheels kind of roll up just like that, so it's a little bit more of a platform. And uh, now numpad 3, and uh, there we go. I guess we're kind of like a tower now, so we could, you know, turn like this. And uh, let's go ahead and just aim up a little bit. Go ahead and take out the tower. You guys know how it is. There we go. Get back to the little tower. Okay, and those actually kind of went straight down. So, yeah. But that's why we have more rockets. So here we go. We'll just throw, launch off some more there. There we go. Okay, come on. Are you for real? Why? Like, those were so close. Like, that wasn't even fair. Okay, now I'm determined. I actually have to hit this. Here we go. Come on. Just just knock out. There we go. Okay, that's all I wanted. That's all you had to do. Even though you didn't knock it over, you just kind of took out a couple of bricks. But you know still thank you okay but yeah then you can actually transform it back into the vehicle which is numpad 9 and then numpad 7 so let's go and do this here just like that the wheels go back out and uh stretch back out just like that and uh yeah you're good to go yeah this is definitely a really cool creation and it actually fits inside the bounding box and doesn't need any mods so yeah you know it gets a thumbs up for that and uh of course it has a whole bunch of rockets so i mean you can't hate that there we go we can launch all those off there and uh you know it's a nice little fireworks show even though most of them kind of go really close to coming back to me uh, just don't worry about that. You guys should definitely check it out for yourself down below in the description, as well as all the other creations from today's episode. Let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. Okay, and this creation's name is called the Shark Copter. Let's go ahead and get started off by taking a nice little look all around this guy. Uh, this thing is definitely really cool. It is supposed to be a vehicle with like a fin on the back, and uh, it's a helicopter as well. So, yeah. Yeah, this thing definitely looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the other camera mode. Uh, it doesn't actually say the button, but I'm assuming that's going to be F. So, yeah, here we go. And uh, it actually says off. Why does it say off? Um, I, I don't really know, but yeah, this is definitely really neat. And you can look up and see the propeller through the ceiling, so you know it's pretty safe. Okay, let's go ahead and just drive this thing around a little bit and see how we do. And uh, okay, as you guys see, the, the back propeller actually turns when you turn. 
I don't know if that's actually the way that it turns. Okay, no, I see the front tire steer steering as well. Okay. I'm not sure if the propeller on the back actually helps for the steering, but it kind of looks like it does. So you know what? We'll, we'll just say it does. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out the actual engine on this thing. To activate the helicopter engine, it is just left control. So let's go and do that there. Okay, that was the that was the wrong one. I don't know my left and right. You know, just don't worry about it. Okay, how do I stop from going up too high? I, I, I don't know. Do we like turn it off? Uh, turn it off. Okay, no, you don't turn it off. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but yeah, we can tilt this with Q and E, so I guess we can, uh, you know, oh, okay, th that broke off. That was not very good. Okay, is this actually the emergency propeller? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, yeah, this is not invincibility mode, just so you guys do know as well. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of anxious here, but yeah, I'm trying to fly this thing. And uh, yeah, it's not going too well. Okay, yeah, we're just kind of crashing down to the ground, so you guys can see how it crashes. It actually is pretty strong for, you know, considering what it is. Uh, even though the propeller broke off pretty quickly there, and the front tire over here is gone. Alright, let's go ahead and go into first person mode here, and we'll go ahead and test out the helicopter like this. Okay, and it actually says on when it, the uh, helicopter motor is on too. Okay, uh, I guess we just go uh, arrow keys to control ourselves here just like this and uh yeah i don't know how to keep from going up too high though do we just like go on and off and just not worry about it i, I don't really know i just don't feel like this is how you're supposed to actually fly a helicopter is like by turning on and off the motor you know that doesn't seem very safe uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over here and see if we can take out one of these statues you guys know how it is and let's go off just a little bit there and uh, go right back on and let's go ahead and go out of the camera mode so we can see how this goes and okay we're going too high oh crap okay uh we'll just we'll turn around just like this we're good don't worry about it okay it's actually a little bit difficult to control here as you guys see okay we have to go backwards to go forwards okay yeah hold the back key to go forwards just like that okay and there we go okay we should hit it there we go and I uh, hit it there we go just just no no are you for real okay now we should hit there we go get wrecked dude okay and uh yeah we're just a little bit damaged so you know we're fine yeah this thing's definitely really cool and it's a lot of fun to fly as well you do have to like get a little bit used to it because you have to turn the engine on and off to like kind of hover and uh, it's a little bit weird uh, but you got to get the hang of it and it's really fun to fly afterwards and it's very responsive as well and uh yeah it's just very nice and of course if you guys want to check it out for yourself the link will be down below in the description but let's go ahead and move on to the next creation okay and this creation's name is called the mechanical army 2.0 now i believe i checked out the original creation that had like medieval units and all kinds of great stuff and uh, yeah they just kind of swung their swords around and it was really cool and as you guys see this army is just a little bit more modern with muskets bayonets cannons and cavalry okay and as you guys see i do have to keep it in a very slow speed because there are so many moving parts here so i do apologize for any kind of lag or anything like that this thing is absolutely insane and it's absolutely worth it uh, so let's just go ahead and get started here okay and they're already firing arrows at us already but let's go ahead and check out the cameras first there is one through eight so there are a lot of cameras here and uh, we'll just go ahead and hide this stuff right there and uh, go ahead and go through these uh, this is one so it's a nice little camera uh cannon there two is back behind here and a nice little three kind of side view that's actually pretty nice here's a nice little four for the cavalry over here five for the musket dudes let's go ahead and fire off the muskets because they are shooting at us a lot so there we go okay that was very loud and yeah we kind of got shook all around there i can't really see what's going on but i see something exploding over there so i think we did pretty well all right let's go to go into six here and uh okay this is like viewing our army from the enemy sides that's pretty cool uh seven and eight and uh there's a nice little top view okay you guys can see all the dead bodies over here that we've already killed that's pretty neat uh, i don't know exactly what this is flying through the air here there's a whole bunch of castle parts and uh yeah it's a, it's pretty beautiful okay and to move the cavalry you can use the arrow keys so let's go ahead and just move these guys forward here just like that and i think these are separate from everyone else so yeah we can go ahead and go forward with, th with these guys here we'll just go ahead and go for this nice little army that's closest to us okay here we go and uh yeah i just guess we just run into them yeah okay they're already dying let's go ahead and zoom in here get us a little picture of what's going on oh this is absolutely beautiful look at this okay here we go get wrecked little dudes beautiful okay we'll go ahead and leave these guys to do their thing over here and we'll go ahead and go back over to the army because there are some other things over here okay it is f and h to aim the cannons and hold t to fire them so let's go ahead and just aim these guys up here and uh, okay, I'm trying to turn them towards the right. So yeah, this is H. There we go. Okay, I guess they're turning just a little bit there. Okay, and to fire them, you hold T. So let's go ahead and just do that here. Okay, and we're just going to hold that until they shoot off. Okay, beautiful. I guess once they get heated up enough, they shoot out. And uh, I guess that's how they work. Okay, we actually just hit our own guy right over here. And uh, yeah, we can go ahead and zoom in here. And I guess that just kind of bounces off. It didn't affect our guy at all. You know, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, I don't really know if we're actually able to move these little army guys here, the musket dudes. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually seem like we're able to. There isn't a control for it anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can actually fire it off with a C there. So, you know, you can shoot that off. Okay, and uh, yeah, I actually forgot I shot it off already. And I don't have infinite ammo. So, yeah. Okay, I wanted to see what it looks like when the actual army shoots against us. So, let's go ahead and shoot at ourselves here and uh, see how this goes. There we go. And uh, okay, that is uh, definitely pretty scary there. And a nice little cannonball went right through my face. Let's go ahead and get out of this and uh, see if we can go see what's going on. Here we go. And uh, yeah, they kind of turned into like anti-gravity bodies. I guess they're just going to float away. 
Uh, it kind of seems that way anyway. All right. I definitely recommend you guys check it out for yourself down below. I'm sure you guys will have fun with it as well. And yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. But let's go ahead and move on to the last creation of today's episode. Okay, and for the last creation of today's episode, this creation's name is called the Onager Dune Crawler, or however you pronounce this word. Is it Onager or like what? I, I, Onager, it sounds right, you know? Okay, we'll just go with it. And uh, yeah, I don't know exactly why he's kind of shaking here in the middle. You guys see it's like shaking all around there. I'm not sure why that is, so you know, don't ask me. But yeah, I actually checked out a creation that looks quite a bit like this and crossed out. And uh, yeah, that video should have went up yesterday, I believe. I'm hoping to have that up Saturday. And of course, I always have Besiege up Sunday. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to check that out, I'll try to leave like a card up there or whatever the thing that youtubers do but okay to walk this guy just left and right success successively successively right yeah successively not successfully that is a completely different thing okay left and right here here we go and i just go just like that and uh, okay it's actually walking pretty well here we go and then uh, you can turn it by using q and e so i guess we could turn it just like this here and uh, hopefully we can turn the right way I, I don't know which way we're turning yet so yeah just okay now we're going this way okay beautiful but of course you can't have a wonderful creation without having some weapons as well so let's go and check those out here okay it's up and down to move the cannon and rockets up and down so here we go we can just go just like that and uh, okay where are the rockets are they like the same thing there i'm not exactly sure okay i'm gonna try to aim ourselves up here just a little bit but you do have to like walk forward for that to happen and uh, okay i just killed one dude i'm sorry buddy but okay for these main cannons it is just c so let's go and do that there there we go and uh, i don't have the ammo on so that's just one shot and uh okay we actually took down most of the tower there get wrecked dude okay and i have to like get off the window to check out the other controls here i do apologize but okay it is b for the top one and then one through eight for the rocket so let's go and check out the top cannon i guess here we go and uh okay i press b and it didn't it didn't do anything okay so yeah b isn't really doing anything it might be because i don't have infinite ammo on i'm not exactly sure but yeah just don't worry about that okay there are some rockets on this thing i don't even see where those are so this should be pretty fun uh, i was just one through eight so here we go let's do one and uh, okay those come out from there i guess that's fine we're just gonna shoot all of those off there and uh yeah we'll go ahead and reset it and do it, take it down all again uh, but yeah that was pretty cool all right let's go ahead and go back up here again and this time we're out for blood i have infinite ammo on so we should be good to go let's go ahead and just shoot off the b cannon that didn't work before and uh see if that works this time okay that still just doesn't work that's fine we'll just shoot that off just like that and uh, there we go okay it actually did hit the tower just a little bit okay and uh you know knock down the door that's pretty cool but we'll go ahead and zoom in here so you guys can see what the rockets look like inside of there yep they're definitely rockets so that's good to know okay let's just go ahead and shoot like four of them off so here we go one through four there we go and uh see if that takes out anything okay i think we were just a little bit too far away and uh yeah they turned before they actually hit the castle uh, but we took out a couple of dudes so that's nice okay this should be good right here and we'll go ahead and shoot off the rest of these rockets here we go and uh just all those there we go and get wrecked and uh, okay one of them actually went through the tower and uh yeah it didn't take anything down though it just kind of went through really cleanly and uh left everything else around it so yeah but yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video today if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty damn cool around here if you guys ask me let's go ahead and get a couple more shots in there there we go get right full the tower nice but if you guys did enjoy the video today make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty damn cool around here if you guys ask me and uh this little yak he okay he looked like he was coming over but i guess he's just gonna chill over there all right, that's fine. All right, but go ahead and leave a comment of what your favorite creation was from today's episode. And uh, yeah, that would be really cool because I like seeing what you guys like. That way I know what to choose for the next week's episode. And uh, you know, that helps out a lot. And of course, if you guys want to check out any of these creations out, all of the links will be down below in the description. And yeah, I'm just going to hang out with my yak buddy here and we're going to have a great time. And uh, yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay awesome, guys.